So that last bite was, uh, there was a decision there not to cut. Uh, that we wanted that to go on for, we wanted to basically expose the fact that he really didn't have an answer. Throughout the film, there are a lot of moments where, you know, we sort of, somebody doesn't give an answer and we just cut out. Uh, this was just, that was just too good. Um, there was a really an opportunity there to show that there, these people have not really thought about this. I mean, that's the, you know, the head of the economics department at Harvard, I believe. Um, so anyway, do, how much time do we have left? Do we have, should we? Okay, cool, yeah. about five or six questions, because we have about 10 minutes. If you'd like to get up at the mic and ask Chad, that'd be great. So fire away, sir. Hey. Chad, I've got a quick one for you. Yeah, you sure. Said it's a sort of organizing question. Yeah. Uh, so you look at all the footage. That mm -hmm. seems obvious, but I don't yeah. always do it. Yep. Uh, the second question is, uh, you said cut in half and cut in half uh -huh. and cut in half again. Physically, what are you doing? Are you physically creating a new bin and saying, That's now there's 50? Yeah, that's a great question. As when I first watch the couple hundred hours, I'm transcribing, or I have the transcripts. I'm underlining what I think is good, what uh, appeals to me as an audience. Just purely, this is good fit footage. This isn't. I I have sequences that contain the entire film, and obviously, Avid Final Cut can't take 400 hours in one sequence, so you have to break them up into sequences. Uh, what I physically, literally do is, let's say I have sequence 1.0. I'll duplicate it, I'll make it 1.1, and I'll cut it from 15 hours down to seven hours. Like, and you have to force yourself to make that decision. You can always go back, and that's the thing, that's why I'm saying like, take, make use of the technology. You can always go back to that original sequence, but for you to try to approach 400 hours of footage without having that kind of method, you, you'll lose yourself. Um, so it's just forcing your, forcing your brain to make those decisions, and it's sort of stress-free. Um, and if you don't do that, then you can get really bogged down and, you know, kind of lose, lose sight of the overall uh, doc. Uh, 